In regional New South Wales, the need to deliver more sustainable and resilient infrastructure has never been greater. We can tackle this challenge by harnessing digital engineering to plan, design, deliver and operate our infrastructure more efficiently and effectively. But what is digital engineering or digital infrastructure? Digital engineering uses technology to optimize the delivery of projects uh, from survey through to design, construction and asset management. Digital engineering improves efficiency, collaboration and decision making of various project phases. It fuses traditional engineering principles with advanced digital technologies. This approach involves using computer-aided design known as CAD, building information modeling known as BIM, and other technologies to create digital models of infrastructure projects, which can then be used for simulation and analysis to select the best design option, evaluate potential shell risk and challenges to optimize project performance. Using digital engineering, there will be a wide range of AI applications available to improve and automate engineering workflows such as generative design. This will provide design options automatically for various aspects of the project. There are different levels of implementing digital engineering, ranging from simple to complex. A simple use, for example, is completing typical engineering design or drawing with the latest software and naming, sharing, and saving associated files in a consistent way. A more advanced use is developing a digital twin, which could be leveraged to automate asset operations or maintenance. Digital engineering planning and design solutions are incorporated across a wide range of civil, mechanical, electrical, hydraulics and architectural design and drafting services for infrastructure projects, such as roads, levees, bridges, water, wastewater treatment plants, uh, pipelines, airports, commercial and residential buildings. By utilizing collaborative digital engineering technologies, all project stakeholders are connected on the project using Common Data Environment, CDE, which is set up as per ISO 19650. So who are these project stakeholders? Project owners who fund and oversee the project, set project goals, manage budgets, and ensure the project is delivered on time and within scope. Design professionals, including architects, engineers, and others who create the digital models and designs for the projects. They use digital engineering tools to create detailed models that can be used for design, simulation, estimation, and construction. Contractors and builders construct the project based on the digital models and designs created by the design professionals. They use digital models to guide construction and ensure that the project is built according to specifications. They can use VR technology to understand the design and have on-site meetings before construction. Subcontractors who perform specific tasks on the project such as electrical or plumbing work can collaborate with the team on the Common Data Environment platform. Design professionals are connected with other project team members from procurement through to construction and asset management. Regulators and government agencies who oversee and enforce regulations about construction, such as building codes, environmental regulations, and safety standards, can implement digital engineering using digital engineering contractual documents that Public Works has helped develop. 3D models and being able to present design options in real time are also extremely useful for community engagement and discussing options with advocacy organizations. By creating a detailed digital record of every aspect of a project from survey through to handover, engineers and planners can ensure that all stakeholders have had access to the accurate and up-to-date information.